Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, August the 1st. I can't believe it's August, but I'm going to do in August what I kind of did in April, which, um, you know, in April it's Veda video every day in April, but August it's usually called Vlogist because, you know, vlogs in August put together. <laughs> but um, I'm not going to do vlogs on this channel because it's my crafty channel. I'm thinking about doing vlogs over on my life channel. Uh, it won't be every day <laughs> because I can't commit to that, but it'll be occasionally. <laughs> and uh, if you're interested in checking that out, the, the link is in the description below. But over on this channel, I'm just going to do like daily-ish little videos. Probably some days it'll be real short, just little clips of vloggy top videos of the crafts that I'm doing that day, whether it's crochet or sewing or whatever. So today I got some um, stuff to show you guys, a happy meal, and also some stuff that I bought. Um, just to show you, you know, what I'm doing the first day of August. And today I'm actually trying to put all this stuff away because it's kind of laid out in the way. And I got to start cutting some fabric for some bags and get all that stuff going. So yeah, I'm just going to show you all that. I'm going to show you everything in no particular order because I can't remember when I got it all. But first I want to show you these two balls of yarn I got at Walmart. They were on clearance. This wasn't my Walmart. It was the Walmart in the town where my sister lives. We went there. Uh yesterday my husband on his way to work on tuesday hit a deer <laughs> and it was in that county because uh, he works in that county we live in a different county but anyways um so we had to go back to the police station to get paperwork you know to file and all that stuff but bless you <laughs> but um so we went to walmart over there so i got these two big balls of lime brand thick and quick and it is blue i think it's just called navy so i got two big old balls of navy it was on clearance for 350 each and yeah i've never used this kind so i thought what the heck i'll try it it's 12 ounces 223 yards each it's a super bulky number six but i thought it would make something cute it says on the thing that one ball makes a scarf so i got to pull on <laughs> um did i buy anything else i bought fabric there but i'll show fabric all together i did get some happy mail some cards and a package. So this is a postcard from my friend Phyllis. She, it's Clary. She sent me a postcard of Maine. She lives in Maine some of the time and New Hampshire some of the time. And uh, it's just really pretty. I wanted to share it. And then I got some cards. Um, this one's from Rebecca. I threw away the envelope, so I can't remember where you're from, <laughs> but you're, you signed it, so it's Rebecca. And it's just a, um, you know, like a thinking of you card. It's really pretty. And then I got this one. This one is from Kelly. Kelly has a YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is called Crochet Mom, Crochet Ma for Life. So she also sent me, and again, it's like a thinking of you type card. It's got a lot of words on it, <laughs> but, um. I appreciate these because I have been going through kind of a rough, <laughs> rough little time and it's just nice to know that people are thinking about me. Then I also got another card, but this goes along with the package. This is from Karen. She sent me, she, she sent me an uh, email or a message, I can't remember, but she's gone through some yarn and she has some that she's not going to be using. So she, uh, she asked if I wanted it, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> so she sent me um, a box of yarn and she told me that there's another box coming, I think. She said there's going to be two boxes. I guess it was an email. But she also sent this card. Ugh. It's got Dollar Parton on it. It said God gave us a voice to laugh, a heart to love, and then it's got other words on the inside. And a note. <laughs> and stickers. There's stickers inside. But <laughs> anyways, I thought that was really cute because, you know, I'm from Tennessee. We go to, we go to Pigeon Forge a lot, which Dolly doesn't own Pigeon Forge, but she owns a lot of stuff in Pigeon Forge. <laughs> and, um, I haven't been to Dollywood yet because Devin won't go with me. <laughs> he's he's afraid of heights. He won't admit that, but he won't. He doesn't want to get on the rides, but I want to get on the rides. So I'm thinking about taking his sister. Her name's Allison. She's almost 17. I'm thinking about seeing if she will go with me so me and her can ride rides together. Anyways, this is the box that she sent me. It's one of those flat rate <clears throat> boxes, so she stuffed a lot in there. So this is the yarn that she originally told me she had. Uh, and that she was going to send to me and then she said that she might put some other things in there and she did so she sent me three skeins of this yarn <laughs> it's like a furry yarn kind of and it's called that 70s yarn 
This is that 70's yarn. It's lime brand. This colorway is called Stellar. It says that it is 3.5 ounces, 38 yards. Uh, it's 95% acrylic, 5% polyester, and it's super bulky. So three of that. And she also sent me two. Let me see if these are the same color. Yeah, two of this colorway. It's called Funky. <laughs> so I gotta figure out something to do with those. I think, I think I'll be able to make something with it. Maybe I'll hold it with another yarn. I don't know. But then she also sent a ton of cotton. Let me get them out. Let's see here. This, this, I think it's all peaches and cream. No, nope, some of them's different. This one's peaches and cream oasis. This one is sugar and cream buttercream. Sugar and cream dazzle blue. That's really pretty blue. There's a bunch more in here. <laughs> this is sugar and cream pink camo. This is another one of the peaches and cream oasis. So there's two of those. Uh, this is another pink camo. This one is sugar and cream cream. <laughs> cream cream. This one, I've had this before. This is Crafter Secret Desert Gold. Those are really pretty colors. I like the 70s. <laughs> sugar and cream hot blue. That's pretty. <laughs> I think this is the same color. Yeah, another hot blue. <laughs> And another pink camo. So she sent me a lot of cotton. This one looks ginormous. It's four ounces. Are they, yeah, this is bigger. This one is bigger than the. See, that's like a regular one. <laughs> I've never seen these big ones. But yeah, so I really appreciate that, Karen. Thank you so much for sending that to me. Are you the one that lives in Texas? No. Iowa? Yeah. It's got a little note written on the box and a sticker. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to put all this back in this box until I can take it where my cotton on is. But she said in, I think, the email or the message, whatever it was, <laughs> that there's an, a second box. I haven't gotten it yet, but I have also been able to go to my post office. Devin's been working, so I won't be able to go back to the post office until Tuesday, which is the 4th. or the Today's the 1st, 2nd, 3rd. It's the 4th. August 4th. Ugh, I can't get it back in there. <laughs> it's funny how, you know, like once you take stuff out of the box, it's like really hard to get it back in the box. Okay. I also got these stitch markers. I got these um, a while ago, but it was right, it was during a really rough time. <laughs> it was like a couple weeks ago when I was at the worst part of the bad thing that happened. <laughs> um, but this is from Madonna. She sent these stitch markers. She also sent a card, but I can't find the card. <laughs> it's somewhere. But, uh, yeah. So now purchases, other than the yarn strategy. I, put, I bought this the other day. No, it's just huge. Big old thing of batting for the new bags. This is heavy batting. The other bags that I just made in, in the last update, they were medium weight batting. So I got some heavy batting to try to see how different it makes the bags. Because I like how squishy it makes the bags. You know, I like squishy bags. And, uh, yeah, so I got this to try it out. I got it with my, uh, it was 30% off, I think, at Hobby Lobby when I bought it. But now, I make, oops, I'm up to or something. My big old stack of fabric. This is going to be the next shop update. <laughs> These are just solid colors for liners. So you're two, four, six, six yards of this cream color and two yards of black. That's just for liners. That's boring. <laughs> And then this stripedy or polka dotted stripes. It's not stripes. This is orange with black um, polka dots. I got three yards here and then two more yards. So five yards for liners. <laughs> and then the bag prints are here. I, got, I picked out some cute Halloween prints because they were out and I got excited. So I got two yards of this green with cats. So that'll be like four bags roughly. And I'm thinking about making all these the new tote bags because a lot of people wanted them and I didn't make enough last time. So I'm going to try to make all these tote bags. But then I also got these jack-o'-lanterns. And bats. Ghosts. And then 
my Hobby Lobby was actually really low on fabric because they were resetting the whole fabric area, uh, which means, you know, they were getting rid of, they were taking out all the things that are going to be clearancing out, and then they were making space for all the new fabrics that's coming in, and they just haven't gotten there yet, so it was super empty. It looked almost like it did when all the corona stuff started and people freaked out and bought all the fabric up to make masks and stuff. Uh, it had gotten normal again <laughs> since that, but now it looked like that again. But anyways, it's because there's new fabric coming. So I got this cat print. Bunch of cute cats. And then I got some of this farm print to make totes with. I already said that. These are all totes. I thought this was cute. It's like leaves and it's got like a pink background. And this is like a pretty watercolor print. And then some flowers. And then this was gifted to me a while ago and it got somehow stuffed in the back of my fabric stash. But I dug it out the other day. I was cleaning yesterday. And I found this dog print. So I'm going to make some bags with that too. I think there's enough there to make at least one tote bag. And this is fabric that I bought at thrift store a while ago. And it's been cleaned. And I'm going to make bags of that. And then I got this yesterday at the thrift store. It's also been cleaned. <laughs> and I thought this would make a cute tote bag. It's enough. It's a half a yard. So it's enough to make a bag with. Yeah. And then I also bought ugh, interfacing. And I also have some white fabric. <laughs> I forgot that I got that. I had to wash it because it had it had like a black mark on it. I guess it had been dropped at some point. So they're all nice and clean and ready to be cut and ironed. Ironed and cut. <laughs> and uh, I think that's everything that I got. The only thing I've been working on the last few days is um, I started making the boo lettering for my Halloween blanket. I made a B and an O. <laughs> haven't made the other O or the explanation point yet. I did sew all the faces onto the squares and I made this dishcloth. <laughs> it's got bobbles on it, but they're not poking out good. Yeah, so this is just some of that new yarn that I got the other day. Um, it's called Scrub Off. And this is the pattern that was on the ball band. So I just I haven't woven in the ends yet. <laughs> but I made it and then uh, with the leftover yarn, I've started another dishcloth. And I have two balls of this, so I, could, I should be able to make three just cost out of the two walls we shall see <laughs> but yeah so that's pretty much everything i'm working on today um so far i'm planning on cutting all this fabric out i'll probably turn on some music and sit here and just cut out fabric and i want to hurry up and finish my halloween blanket and then i want to get this bag down and work on it that's my christmas tree skirt i'd like to have it done this year so i can use it <laughs> but um i don't know we'll see how the day goes but yeah, so throughout August, I'm going to be popping up these random videos in between my regular videos, which is the No Kitchen Am episodes, and the What You're Working On Wednesdays, and my Knit Crate video when that comes, giveaway videos, all that jazz. But yeah, so I guess that's all for today's vlogist, vlog, vlogist day one. <laughs> and I can't believe it's August. It's so close to fall. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I got my Halloween stuff pulled out of my closet. It's sitting in my living room in a tote. <laughs> Because I decorate for Halloween on September 1st. So I got it all ready to go. I got a few new things that I've picked up at thrift stores and stuff. To go into my collection this year. <laughs> and um, I'm sure I'll do the same thing with Christmas. Because I decorate for Halloween on September 1st. And I decorate for Christmas on November 1st. Well usually Halloween night is when I put up the tree. After I get done tree or treating. Which I don't know if that will thing be a thing this year. But I always put the tree up Halloween night. Just the tree. I don't decorate or nothing. I just literally put the tree up and fluff it and stuff and um, I'm hoping this year since everything's going on I think I'm hoping trunk or treats will be a bigger thing because they'll be a little bit safer you know because you can just have your kid in the costume and do a circle around get something at each trunk and then get your car and go and um, so I'm hoping because we usually go to those every year anyways because it's easier than trigger treating <laughs> and um, so I'm hoping that maybe more churches and businesses will do trunk or treats this year just to make it safer but I don't know we shall see <laughs> anyways I'm gonna hop off here and get this edited and up because it's already it's 7 30 in the morning <laughs> but um I procrastinate sometimes and don't get a video out when I'm supposed to so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys